For over 100 years, the Miller family has been beekeeping and honey farming. I am with Jason Miller, part of this family. How did this all start? Well, back in 1894, my great-great-grandfather, Nephi Miller, traded a few bags of oats for some beehives, and that was the beginning of Miller Honey Farms. And since then, we've moved from Utah up to Idaho and now California and North Dakota. So explain exactly what beekeeping entails. A lot of it is, is moving the bees from the various crops that need the pollination, uh, as well as moving them into areas that are good for honey production and constantly keeping those bees alive and thriving on the environment. Springtime is when everything starts. Um, Placer County is like heaven for a bee in the spring, and that's why we're here. But we're coming out of the almonds where we've been pollinating, where these bees have been pollinating crops down in Fresno, Madera, Modesto, um, and then as far north as Chico, pollinating the almond orchards. You are in the Sacramento Valley. The bees go all over. Actually, they go to North Dakota. They do. Who knew? <laughs> Explain how the bees travel and how they end up in North Dakota. Yeah. So after we're here, um, after the almonds, we head up to Washington with a good number of our hives to pollinate the apples up there. We have some in the prunes in Yuba City. But uh, what was heaven here in the spring turns to hell in the summer when it's hot and dry and a harsh environment for the bees. So at that time we load them on our semi trucks and we ship them to North Dakota where it continues to rain a mild climate through the summer and the honey production continues out there. And water, we have to talk about water. Too much water, too little water. They both impact bees. For sure, yeah, we live and die by, by the water and so when we don't get enough water here, the bees go to North Dakota sooner. And if North Dakota doesn't get the water that it needs, then, then you know, that we don't thrive out there. And so we are definitely impacted all over the country by the water situation. And we've had rain lately. How has that impacted pollination? On the short term, it, it, it's made it difficult to get bees in and out of locations. Uh, they've been stuck in, in orchards where we'd like to get them out. You know, spray season is, is on us. Um, we've had some washed away in flooding uh, near rivers. So uh, on the short hand, it's, it, it makes it difficult, but the long term is it's very beneficial. You know, we need this rain and things will be, uh, the bees will benefit for the months coming because of all the good rain and moisture we've had.